the amount of things that are happening is not okay. Was, there was a teacher that was six months pregnant. She tapped a student on the shoulder, and asked them to sit down. The student turned around and punched her in the stomach as hard as he could. Nothing that that student got like suspended for two days, but she got reprimanded because she touched the student. That's where we're at, people. That's where we're at. Students punching pregnant teachers in the stomach. Uh, what's the teacher going to do? Oh, she's going to get reprimanded by somebody like this jackass, basically. Uh, about how do I stay in education 30 years and make it to retirement? Because today, the number of teachers that do quit is super high. I've done tons of videos about that. Okay, um, this guy basically, as an administrator, he'll just uh, snap back with platitudes and cliches and, you know, this is your typical Georgia public school administrator, just like all the rest of them. Lady gets punched in the stomach. Oh, yeah, these types, they'll write that reprimand. Sure they will. Would you expect them to do anything less? That's where we're at in this country. It's what we fight for every day. How would you put her on the commercial? The Secretary of the Army, the one that said she doesn't know what woke means as it relates to the Army. After we had Miley get up in front of Congress and do his thing. Is this the recruiting tool you want? This whole point of this video is a recruiting tool, right? Get people to enlist because they are not listening. If anybody put on video about the Army, young people come in and say, I'm not doing it. I see what's going on. I saw what happened. Okay, this guy, uh, he's about my age, I guess. We're about the same age. Also, uh, Joe Silviera, about the same age. He uh, basically, like me, when we were younger, we looked up to people. We had role models and we had people we could look up to. People we respected. Military people who were honorable, demonstrated strength, sound judgment, education, merit to the highest degree. These are the people we looked up to and the people we aspired to. Now, the problem is with this generation, and some people in my generation, and even before, they did not admire those people for their merits and their attributes and their positive features. The reason we looked up to these people is because we saw those attributes as something that was obtainable. Like this guy, uh, Jameson. Yeah, as a teenager, along with me, I'm guessing... Yeah, he looked up to some of these uh, pillars of strength that were in the military. And he looked at their positive attributes such as integrity and honesty and other positive things like courage and bravery as attributes that were obtainable by him, by me, by others like us. Not by people like Silviera or these uh, woke people or these jackasses from this generation. Uh, America is not, well, quite frankly, they're not that brave anymore. They don't like merit. They despise it. Why? Because it's unobtainable to them. So somebody like uh, Jameson, he says, hey, you know, um, these guys are not like they used to be. They don't have respect. No, they don't. They do not value merit or integrity or courage, or bravery, anything like that, because to this woke generation and these jackasses, those merits and qualities are unobtainable by them. It's not something they can obtain. For me and this Jamerson, we looked at those positive attributes as something obtainable. Speaking of jackasses... This is our institution. And if you need it, and you need my words, then you keep these words. And you use them, and you remember them, and you share them, and you talk about them. If you can't treat someone with dignity and respect, then get out. Okay, so that's uh, what you got. Option B, Brandon goes up to the penitentiary and gets his rectum resized about yay big to the end and with even all his manipulation and narrative changing he's not able to make this look like a victory so i'm gonna sign here we go look ready 
Notice the police are leaving. Okay. This guy, this is Long Island Audit. There you go. Signed in. Uh, the video lasts over 36 minutes, and that's an edited version. So I don't know how long the incident took place. Probably well over an hour. I hate to say this. I like fraud and troll, by the way. But the thing is, I disagree with them. This is a victory for the uh, fraud editor. Even though the fraud editor didn't get all the way in, the fraud editor managed to stay there for, I'm going to guess, well over an hour. Yeah, and look at this. Let me put the time I got here. And they call the police. I'm trying to figure that. I'm trying to see what services you offer to the public here. I've said that many They've times. They've been telling them. Trying you want to know what services? I might need one of those services. And if we tell you those services, I might need one of them. Are we done here? I might need one of them. Depends. Take care, trooper. Have a good one. Good, good citizen in the report. And the Remember, troopers leave. Just in case you can't leave a blank. But okay, here's the problem that I have with this. Okay. Um. These frauditors are out of control. They're not being dealt with. The police can't handle them. Um, and it goes back to the lady that's getting punched in the stomach while she's pregnant. That's where things are going. I mean, there. I guess there's no stopping it. Um, the solution is uh, not to rely on the police, unfortunately. You got a problem with these stolen valor uh, vigilantes... These frauditors, these Karens, people are out of control. Guys, um, you got a lot of trash that's um, all over the place, and they're dangerous. They carry pepper spray, they carry guns, Amagansett Press, this Don Shipley, Long Island Audit, and a bunch of other clowns. These jackasses will do injury, like two pregnant women that's what i'm talking about it's gonna happen that's where it's going oh you're wrong you're wrong no you're not doing anything about it it's gonna get worse okay i'm just saying when you don't do things about it it gets worse now the reason i published this um vlog is because i saw something the other day on the internet Talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. Guys, the Pythagorean Theorem is not a theorem. It's a fact. That's right. The Pythagorean Theorem is a fact. It's not a theorem. It's a fact. Yeah. This thing has been proven almost, I'd say about 10, maybe 15 years ago. Now, if you look at the internet, oh, James Garfield, the president, proved it. Uh, no, that's that's more BS, but um, the fact of the matter is we got ourselves the Pythagorean Theorem. But what we want to do is we want to prove it, and here's the proof. Okay, and if you're from one of those Georgia public schools, well, uh, can't help you, buddy. You know, you're going to have to set this one out. The Pythagorean Theorem. So we know what? A triangle is. We have a right triangle. Replicate that thing. These things are equal. Okay? Now there's a few things you need to understand. Okay? So let's take our right triangle, replicate it, repeat it, and form a square. And the hypotenuse is C. Understand that D is equal or greater to zero and B minus A equals D. Also, understand that A times B is the same as B times A. Okay, you got to understand that. All right. Also, understand that A plus B is the same as B plus A. So, we got the area of a square. Yeah, because if you put those triangles together, I don't know why that shadow's here. How do I get rid of that? I don't know why it's there. Anyway. The hypotenuse, C, which is actually the side of the square. What's the area of the square? Well, you got two options. One is C squared. And basically, when you put the triangles together, you've got a cavity, D squared. 
Okay, and remember, B minus A equals D. We got the area of the square. Um, oh, it didn't come out right on the typing. You got four triangles, which is the base times the height divided by two, and you got four of them, and the cavity, which is a square D squared. All of this is the same as C squared. Okay, so here we got, um, yeah, yeah, you got your um, C squared. You got your four triangles. Now, because it's the um, height times the base divided by two is the area of a triangle. You got four of those triangles. And there it is next to the formula of a triangle. You got four of them. And that's the same as C squared, which happens to be the hypotenuse. Don't ask me where that shadow's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, 4 divided by 2 is 2, a b. Uh, d G, squared, G. which is the same as b minus a squared. Yeah. I'm going to write it out. It still equals c squared. You know, I, I don't know where this shadow's coming from. Sorry about that. So I got my... Now I uh, multiply that out. I still got my 2ab, but I got my b squared, and I got an a squared. And notice that b times a is the same as a times b. For those of you that are in that Georgia public school, you better sit this one out because this is way over your head. And then, well, guess what? I got 2ab, ab, and uh, b squared plus a squared equals c squared. Hey, look at that. And lo and behold, I have just proven the Pythagorean theorem. No, I did not come up with this proof. This came up by, this uh, was the result of the work of many, many, many mathematicians. Anyway, this proof has been around for, I'd say, 15 years, maybe a little more. No, not by President Garfield. That's just a hoax. But anyway, the Pythagorean Theorem is a fact. Yeah, it's a fact. And here's the proof. Right there in front of you, if it were a snake, it would have bitten you.